Welcome back, lords and ladies, to another Outrides episode. No. Out. Sorry. Outriders. Not Outrides. Outriders episode. I'm excited to be back in this game. Um. Few notes. I do have to say, I will congratulate you, Square Enix, for making an amazing game, honestly. I know a lot of companies have been trying to make a Destiny killer, trying to mimic Destiny 2 and the success that it has had, because Destiny 2, it's an amazing game, honestly. I love Destiny 2. I remember when they broke the, uh, the, the barrier, um, whatever it's called, your power barrier of a thousand. I was, hmm. I was with a squad back then. I was with a with a clan. That was some fun times. Honestly, I loved running those challenges. <sighs> I'm excited about this game because honestly, it feels very similar to it, but it's definitely different. A lot different gameplay. And I'm so happy that it is. So, why don't we jump back in, log him back in as the Chaos King. Me, you are king. Let's see how this goes. I will say I, I'm loving the soundtrack of this game. It is honestly top tier Square Enix. You guys did a good job. It's really bopping. I think this yeah, this music is actually kind of better than Destiny 2 in some ways. So, I'm glad we get to have that chance. I'm glad we can hear all about it. I'll turn up my mouse sensitivity. All the way over here, I think. There's only... Yeah, there's only. Gotta do reunion. My flag. I wish. I wish that black was a better black. You know. Um. Is this stash is not available. Oh, that person. That's co-op. Um. Yeah, I know co-op voting. I would be playing this with uh some friends. Um. A couple of my friends do have the game, one of them just hasn't downloaded it, but the one that does have it uh, is actually in class right now, so it's kind of bad timing. But, so, right now we are going on to the front lines, getting a good look at the worlds here. Okay, boss. Do you see a big tower? That's where oh. you need to get. The oh. old solar tower. But it's a mess out there. Everything's upside down. Yeah, I noticed. Don't worry, I'm carving my way through it. I, I guess we jump right in. Yeah. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, this has lifesteal on it.
gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh shit. Ah, oh, that was good. That was close, that was close. Um Hey bud. Um, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, once captured, you fast travel and now explore value in this region of camp. Cool. Alright, okay, okay. I'll take it. What's over here? No, I. Okay. That's dumb. That's. Um, I'll take that. Coming in. Interesting. Nope, can't ask for that. So, I want to check out that submachine gun. Um, uh, wait, wait, uh, nope, yeah, this is, this is probably the best. Um, I'll harvest this. We do want iron. Cool. Alright, let's go this way. <gasps> no, don't do anything. Dead. Ooh, a bit. Dead. Ooh, what is hurting me? You. banged up that's okay Dead. 
dead. I probably should have been a Technomancer, honestly. I'm so much better at sniping. you. Uh, let's get some... Ooh. Take that. I'll take that. Better stuff. Better stuff. We're leveling up, folks. We are getting good in this neighborhood. Anything over here? There's gotta be some that's a shame, they missed a chance. Boom. We're in this business. Much ammo, because I guarantee we're gonna have a fight. Interrupting skills. Um, filling casting bar shows that an enemy country needs your ability. You can hit a casting enemy with your interrupt keyword skill. Just use your skills that interrupt or mobile lose enemies. Build up crowd control resistance. And blue when there's built up the enemy. Blue aura. Blue aura indicates that it's temporarily immune to earth and up immobilizing effects. And ability. Oh, okay. Oh, this is, ooh, this is not good. Damage interrupt. Deception movement. Okay, so temporal braid damages. And interrupts. Okay. So that's what they mean by interrupt. Yes, I'm badly hurt. Come on, who's gonna who's gonna start shooting me? Run, 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 run. Alright, um, Um. 
Boom. Headshot. Tier four. Cool. Ooh. Um, deja vu in this place. Reminds me of that mission in Damascus where we rescued the diplomats. I had to save your ass from that machete wielding mob. More like the time I had to save your sorry ass from that redneck mob storming DC. Those missions sound like we were fighting for a reason, but this shithole. I literally just did the same thing. Never been worth fighting for. So what's it all about for you then? Just trying to live another day, boss. We're barely holding on. It sounds like I chose a good day to wake up then. Nope. Get, get out, get no. Sure, all my weapons are reloaded. Ooh, you're dead. So many dead people. Almost to the tower. Almost there. Oh sh. Anything over here? Jakob, I'm seeing a lot of dead people. They look like they've been sauteed. Sauteed. Be careful. Ooh. Mm hmm. So let's see if we get something good. Uh, crew gloves. I'll just take them all. Um, what was that gun I just got? Um, rusty cleaner. So the only diff it's just got a higher range and more stability. Same with that. Um 
clothes wise yeah no okay take this I have no idea what the purpose of this iron is for but I'm going to collect it just in case because you never know you never know when you're going to need materials um, always that classic meme of gamers saving up every single potion every single bonus even after the last boss fight because you never know if after the last boss fight you're going to need something else um take it as well don't know just do it do these have bonuses no it's literally just armor and cosmetics okay um yeah this is definitely a boss fight uh <laughs> you saw all the goodies being given out Jacob, all right that reached the solar tower i'm going in what are you seeing in there some kind of weird electrical sparks flying everywhere. It means you're getting close. This altar, did I not mention? He's a goddamn electro freak. You mean he lights up light bulbs? More like flash frying everything for a mile. Look, Ooh. I know you've always been able to handle yourself, but this son of a bitch is on a whole other level. As of recently, sound fun. So am I. Um, or equip it. I want to check it out. Check out this atlas. Um, yeah, I'm just going to. I'm going to stay. This also has weapon and life leech. Um, yeah. Oh right, well. Wait a second. I think. I don't. Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking about... On, I'm going to stick with the sniper. Because better to have at least one... One mid-range, close-range, and far-range. Let's, let's, ooh, flag. Yeah, this is definitely boss fight. Definitely boss fight. You, you <laughs> see the arena. Excuse me as I catch a quick thumbnail. Taking down. Oop, nope. Load. Don't like this. What the hell? Oh, sh oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die.
shit. Damn it. And I'm dead. <sighs> got farther than I expected. I'll admit, I got farther than I expected. That was just dumb of me. That was that was incredibly stupid of me. Interrupt you and a knife. Oh, yes. Haha. -ha. Did it. And You're so, dead. Rider, you've had your first kill. We also do not die so easily, do we? Sir. Come. We must speak. Hmm. 
I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Let's find out what Seth wants. They asked you to help them. To fight the altar down there. Why didn't you? That pathetic monstrosity was a distraction. People are dying because of him. Without the supply route open... They all die. Those feeble creatures. Slaughtering each other over scraps. You waste your gifts. Running errands for them. Trying to win their meaningless, endless war. You must realize... You are not like them anymore. So what? I should play at being a god like you. I am not playing. I am a god. Or something even more. Altered and Outrider. The last Outrider. Do what you were sent here for. Go beyond the frontier. These people need their gods. Only one like you could lead them to a future. Yeah, but wasn't you was being an outrider mean anything? They call him Moloch. I fight another war far above this petty squalor. My war is with the worst of our kind. This one is too powerful. He will destroy us all unless I hunt him down. But gods killing gods, you know how it be. Fight. You are to be the shepherd. Find a way for them out of this slaughter. Outrider. All right, it's open. Start this trade route. Sure, it's done. Your supply line's open. I'm heading home. I can't believe it. Outrider, what you just did. I've left a hundred men trying. Don't thank me yet. You still got a war to win. Not sure anyone's winning this goddamn war. But there's something even more important that than one. able to do. Ooh. Come see me in my bunker. Um, anything up here? No. All right, let's go. Let's go home. Well, that was fun. I think we're going to call this episode here. That was a lot of fun. Glad to see the very first boss of the demo. Ooh, skill point. Before we close out, let's do the skill point real quick. Arms includes close range weapon damage by fifteen percent. Increase your max health by 10%, and increase your anomaly power by 6%. Um, I'm always a fan of more health, so I think I'm going to go there because, oh, you know, all health is always very nice. So, we have that taken care of. Where was I? Oh yes, first ball. Great first boss. I actually really like that boss. It was difficult enough that once you that initially can't just go in guns praying, guns blazing, and kill him right away. You actually had to think about it. You actually had to develop a plan of attack. Some people, you know, it just comes naturally to them. Actually, let me align myself so with my with my beautiful flag in the background. Boom. You have to actually develop a plan of attack and think your way through it. After your first and, first and maybe second attempt, you were actually able to defeat him. And it was still kind of difficult. You know, you, he had a good amount of health and he was constantly hitting you with attack. So you had to constantly keep moving and somewhere in that middle area, find a way to kill him. So, that was fun. Loving the combat, loving the um, loving the actual weapons we're getting. It's actually a lot of fun. Loving the abilities we have, and loving this dynamic of you know having this ability, kind of like Destiny Two, but it's not really because Destiny Two you could still stay far distance away, and every ability still worked. 
this ability is actually having to need to change my playstyle. I'm usually a distance player, medium to long range, as you can probably see from my gunplay. But in this, I'm actually forced to take a more direct and more aggro approach and take him head on. So I'm slowly working my way and I'm getting him better. And you guys are on this journey with me. And so I'll probably continue this. Most likely get the actual game because this is a lot of fun and I'm loving it. I hope you guys are loving it too. But until next time. And so with that, stay royal my friends.